Hey guys, what's up? It's a King here today. I'm coming back with another Daredevil news video, and today we're going to be talking about a fan favorite character, Bullseye. And then before we start, I want you guys to hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the post notification once you guys know if I never upload a video. Anyways, let's get right into it. So, Wilson Bethel's Bullseye is returning for Daredevil Born Again. This just came out today. I'm very excited to read this. This is an article from Comic Book. It is The link will be in the description if you want to read it for yourself. There's not too much information here, but I just want to read it to you guys and give my thoughts on it. So anyways, boom, here we go. So anyways, the article reads, Bullseye is back. A fan favorite from the third season of Netflix Daredevil is returning to the Marvel Cinematic Universe during the events of Daredevil Born Again. Now, it says in the article, while it's unclear how, how extensive the role will be, Bethel's beloved Bullseye will, in fact, appear. Marvel did not respond in the comment, obviously, but anyways, it kind of goes down in, you know, how the, the strikes and all that stuff, but it gives more news, like more news that are good, or actually that the episode order was shortened. It's not 18 episodes, it's more along the lines of like maybe 12, 13, 14, or even 15. I feel like this is a good thing because honestly, 18 is way too much for a series because I mean you look at shows and honestly you just I mean some shows you do need a lot of episodes to kind of tell your story out I mean you see shows like the blacklist x files stuff like that that have like 20 episodes per season so they can tell their story whatever a story is there but then you have shows where like Dexter that's not really a great example um Better Call Saul Breaking Bad stuff like that that is like more along the lines of like 13 episodes or 12 episodes per season, but that is the perfect amount of seasons. Or even if you think about Daredevil, Daredevil show was 13 episodes and it was perfect. Then you see shows, now they're kind of going off the rails, but like go, then you see shows like Iron Fist, Luke Cage, even Jessica Jones season two, where the 13 episode mark was way too much and it just created so much filler where they kind of fixed themselves in the Iron Fist season two, where there was only 10 episodes less filler less extra bs that we don't need to see but anyways um more in the article it's going to be more along you know the original 13 seasons and an article doesn't really say too much but it says that the bullseye is definitely going to be in the in the show for th at, at least three episodes so i'm I, and here are my thoughts on that now i do feel like that bullseye will definitely be a part of this season but i don't think he'll be the main villain of this season the main villain of this season is a person called muse um i haven't i don't really know much about muse but i guess he's like a serial killer he kills people and he like he makes him like art kind of like a hannibal lecter type thing i mean if you've seen the movie signs of the lamps like you remember how hannibal lecter took out those cops and like displayed them like something like that maybe or if you've seen like hannibal you see how he kind of displayed his victims, maybe something like that. I haven't really seen much of Muse. I'm not really sure if he's in any TV shows or anything, but I guess he's a comic book character and he's the villain of of the Daredevil Born Again season one. Because I'm assuming there's going to be more than one season, if maybe more. But I do feel like that they're going to use Muse and Kingpin and Bullseye in a good way. I feel like that Kingpin and Bullseye will definitely be more of the background. I do feel like that they'll all come across each other. More Muse and Kingpin. I feel like maybe Kingpin might use Muse's ways of taking out, you know, whoever we're trying to get after Daredevil. And Daredevil's obviously going to defeat him or something or get hurt by him pretty bad. But there's there's really there's a lot of stuff at play now. I feel like with Bullseye, I feel like they're gonna keep him in the on the back burner for now. I feel like they're just gonna keep him like they're gonna give us like stuff with him, like him recovering over the season. Like I feel like in like the first like within the first five episodes, we'll get like a post credit scene of one episode where we're gonna see him like opening his eyes or or recovering or something like that because he could like I feel like because at the end of Daredevil season one, now I kind of explained this in my last Daredevil video that he was supposed to come back, meaning, like, he was set to return in the season four. But I feel like that this recovery process he was on could have gotten shortened by the snap. Now, he could have been snapped and returned back, or blipped, whatever you want to call it, and now he, he has to do his recovery still, and I do feel like that him doing his recovery might be the perfect way to kind of explain why he's still in recovery and why he's not going after Daredevil or Kingpin. Now, I discussed Kingpin in the last video. I'm not going to go really into much detail on how I think he should go, but I do feel like that Bullseye will be definitely teased throughout the, the show. 
and then at the end probably the last episode or the episode before the last episode or whatever they're gonna he's gonna be back but like not fully but like he's gonna have like a big scene that shows that he's back i th- like um like the end credit scene in echo where it kind of explains more or it, it it gives more on what's coming you know what i mean but i do have high hopes for this i really do think that daredevil born again is probably set to be one of the best mcu shows to date and i'm really excited to see what is in store for us the viewers so i think that's really it not really much to report on today when it comes to daredevil news just that bullseye is definitely coming back and we're having some we're getting some really cool villains in this show now yes i i do believe muse is is supposed to be a part of this i could be wrong but i do believe and obviously john bernthal is supposed to come back so honestly i i really don't know what else what else this entails i i feel like i'm hoping it doesn't feel jumbled i really hope it feels very good and fleshed out proper because i mean we have so many people returning we have karen and foggy returning which is good we have kingpin returning we have muse we have just so many characters coming back and honestly i do feel like that this is a good thing i feel like this will definitely be something that like i said i think this will definitely be the best mcu show to date if they do it right and it sounds like from what i'm hearing they're doing this right they'll have to be the worst writers ever they have to get scott buck to be a producer to to mess this up but i'm not even sure he can mess such a good thing up well who knows he could but anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed making this video i'll keep you guys updated on more um daredevil and mcu news if there's anything in the future so anyways guys before i leave i want you guys to hit the subscribe button hit that like button hit the post notification button so you guys know if i never upload a video anyways i'll see you guys in the next one take care now